markets. Germany has, for various reasons, been a bit slower than some other European markets to digitise networks and roll out advanced services. How much further do you have to go to catch up and what kind of services have you rolled out to date? Well, first of all, we are 100% digitised. So we're offering digital services in, I think, 99.99% of our network. So um, services are there, services are available. But what we have seen is that very recently, especially with um, the HD uptake in Germany, we seem to have found the sweet spot um, between pricing and um, content offering. Because right now, HD and digital offerings are flying off the shelves like there's no tomorrow. It's unbelievable how well our DVR, um, our zapping boxes, as well as our C Plus modules are being perceived by the market and how well they go. So uh, while we don't push it aggressively in terms of saying, we'll switch off analog, because analog is something that especially uh, a certain group of our customers love and cherish very much, right? Um, um, we do have very competitive, very compelling um, digital TV offerings that our customers just really, really appreciate at this point in time. Um, and we are almost struggling to have enough DVRs, enough um, um, iron to ship out into the field to our customer base. So that's going really well and we do see quite an acceleration in, in our digital TV services at this point in time. Over the last 12 months or so, we've seen you rolling out high-speed broadband across Germany. Um, so looking forward to the next 12 months, 24 months, is your focus going to be more on that broadband side or on these advanced well, TV services? Compared to, to some of the other cable operators, we don't have the luxury of focusing just on this or just on that. Because German cable, as you recalled earlier, is fairly late in the game, or has been fairly late in the game, of having interactive services, of digitizing, of um, rolling out these things. So um, we focus on everything in parallel. We have upgraded about 80% of network to two-way, offering high-speed data services very successfully there and continue to do so um, going forward. In fact, we'll extend the percentage of the homes that are two-way um, by not a significant share in the coming fiscal year, which starts April 1st for us. At the same time, in parallel to that, we continue to ride the wave of um, digitization as part of HD, which our customers, especially in the context of all these flat screens in the homes, are very much liking and very much pushing. So it's not either or or prioritizing this or that, it is both. Um, that, that is kind of the, the consequence of the fairly late start in Germany. Um, we don't have the luxury to wait, we push both in parallel. Now, later on today, you're taking part in a panel looking at uh, integrating digital services. Can you talk a bit about your, your strategy there? Sure. I think that the key objective, and that's a key challenge as well, not just for us as Kabul Deutschland, but as an industry, is um, to keep this simple. I talked earlier about customers that love analog. Why do they love it? Because the single remote control, it's up and down, it's volume up and down, and that's about it. So, if we have this new world where we have um, broadcast television, we have uh, video on demand, we have um, the DVR and its capabilities, we've got over the top video and we have this content that is stored in the customer's home, um, hopefully legally. Um, so we got these five sources, we need to find a way to um, make this as simple and uniform to the customer as possible, to recreate that ease of use we have in the analog world. That is the key objective we as an industry need to achieve. That is what we need to do to be able to um, to not lose the customers in these transitions to, to this really, really complex world. And that is our key objective. That is what we're working on. Um, that is what we're doing. We seem to be doing this very successfully if we take a look at our DVR, which is encompassing some of these five aspects I was talking about earlier, but not all of them yet. So we'll continue to evolve that, um, always with the key focus of keep it simple, 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 right? Not to lose our customer base. That is um, what we need to achieve. And that is, that, is a, that is a difficult situation, difficult transition, because the complexity has increased massively. And we need to be able to, um, to, to guide the customer along the transition, show him what's happening there through recommendation, through search, right? Um, so that the customer doesn't actually realize, doesn't need to realize what the source of the content is, is watching, right? Um, the only time we need to alert the customer is, well, hey, you gotta pay for this. This is paid video on demand content. But besides that, it shouldn't matter to the customer whether this is a broadcast clip, or whether it's YouTube, um, or whether it's video on demand, right? It should be there for the customer to use, to view, in a uniform environment. That's kind of where we're heading, what we're pushing for, and what I think we've started out doing quite successfully with our current DVR platform. There's lots of talk at the moment about multi-screen services. Yeah. What plans do you have in terms of taking content outside of the home, and do the same rules that you just talked about apply Absolutely, scenario. absolutely. It's, this needs to be uniform, not just across those five content sources, but clearly also about the medium that the customer uses to consume that content. Whether it's a television set, whether it's a tablet computer, a mobile phone. So the capability needs to be there to transport that as well. But uh, like I said earlier about those five content sources, it is really critical that we stay uniform and clear in, in the customer user interface. So the customer can actually um, deal with these things um, in a uniform and clear way. Um, not to confuse and not to lose the customer. So we're doing this gradually. We're not jumping it too far and too quickly because we want to make sure we don't lose the customer process. So the first thing 
Um, we're doing is we're having a web EPG that is very fancy going forward and backward in time, and you can do remote recording um, of your DVR on that web EPG. And then from there, we'll obviously have the same interface on other platforms such as tablets and, and mobiles. And building on that again, right, uh, we'll gradually increase the feature sets to so have more and more functionality um, on the, um, what we call the companion devices um, as well. And that is where we gradually take this. But I think it's key that we, that we don't jump ahead too far too soon. You said initially the German market had been fairly backwards, and that is true. The education in the customer space isn't there yet. So that is something we gradually, is, is, it's a ride we gradually need to do with our customers. Um, and that is something we are um, very excited about. And we're having good, good start points, um, and we have good ideas on how to evolve this going forward. All right, thank you. You're most welcome.